नमस्कार मैं आदर्श चु आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी वेलकम्स यू ऑल हियर डियर स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स लेट्स मूव अहेड इन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द ग्लिम्सेस ऑफ इंडिया यू सी हियर ग्लिम्सेस ऑफ इंडिया पार्ट वन सेवन पॉइंट वन अ बेकर फ्रॉम गोवा वी हैव कंप्लीटेड नाउ वी आर मूविंग अहेड फॉर सेकंड पार्ट Kurg, Kurg is a place. If you read the first line of this lesson, it's written here: Kurg is coffee country. From where we get maximum coffee in the form of a crop, that's the place, and that place is Kurg. And there also thing is there. What's there? most famous famous for its rainforest and spices if you want to get spices you have to visit kurg if you want to visit rainforest you have to visit kurg where this kurg is situated that we have to think first we'll move ahead with the kurg in this lesson with the characteristic of kurg how kurg is at present with the inhabitants of the place each and everything will move ahead here in this lesson midway in between midway between mysore and the coastal town of mangalore sits a piece of heaven that must have drifted from dr drifted from Uh, we have to accept it. What is accepted? What is renowned? What is famous? The kingdom of God. This place is also known as the kingdom of God. Where it is? It is situated midway, in between Mysore and Mangalore. कहीं करवाने जरूर न थी. Mac Miller याद रखो. Mac ma. Short form Mac no M C. एम एवं लखाई एम सी एम याद रखो मैक मिलन इट विल बी देर इन योर माइंड एम फॉर मैसूर सी फॉर कुर एम फॉर मैंगलोर मैक मिलन मैक एम एस सी नो एम सी एम ओके इट कैन बी आस्ड इन शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन वेर कुर्ग इज सिचुएटेड कुर्ग इज सिचुएटेड इन बिटवीन मैसूर एंड मैंगलोर that land, this land of uh, rolling hills is inhabited by a proud race of martial men beautiful women and wild creatures the word is used here drifted from carried with uh, carried something blank is given there by air by name in air it is whatsoever you will write that will do okay marshal what is connected with the to do with the war means who is connected maximum with the army here war means you will think army and so that we are having special kurg regiment kurg regiment uh, it's there here okay and so that here this word is used pronunciation you will keep in your mind not martial marshal connected with the word connected with the army beautiful women would be there and wild creatures also would be there in the kurg in this way kurg is famous for the coffee kurg is famous for the rainforest kurg is famous for the martial men beautiful women and wild creatures kurg is also known as kodagu the smallest district of karnataka here we come to know that this is the smallest district this much small district in karnataka is nowhere else and so that this place is the smallest place of karnataka
is home to evergreen rainforests, spices and coffee plantations. Spices, coffee, evergreen forests, if you want to see, you have to visit Kurg. If you have a trip, no problem. But we will think in our mind, Kurg. Rainforest, you will get there. Coffee, you will get there. Wild animals, you will get there. Martial man, you will get there. Beautiful women, you will see there. All these good characteristics is the best example for combination of all this is with the Kurg. Evergreen forests cover 30% of this district. 30% is forest. Evergreen forest. Rainforest. You will get 30% During the monsoon season, it pours enough to keep many visitors away. During monsoon, no javai. Camp, heavy rainfall. The seasons of joy commences, commences, starts. Commences, starts, begins. From September and it continues till the March. If you want to visit Kurg, you have to go to Kurg in between September to March. After March, before September, you should not go there. Why is it so? Because you have to face heavy rainfall. And especially heavy rainfall in Kurg is a little bit full of calamities. So that we should not go over there. The weather is perfect with uh, some showers thrown in for good measure. Climate is good. Weather is good. Moderate, enjoyable, not hot, tender, tender, cool, cool. The air breathes of uh, invigorating coffee, invigorating and enthusiastic effect we will get with the breathing for the coffee smell. Wherever you will go in Kurg, you will get this smell. And that smell is invo invigorating, means keeps ourselves enthusiastic in our life. Coffee, estates, and colonial bungalows. Colonial bungalows, bungalows in a row. Stands tucked under tree canopies in prime corners. In prime corner, in the best location, we get it. The fiercely independent people in Kurg are possibly of Greek or Arabic descent. Canopies, one word is, uh, I mean there, canopies means a round shaped roof or coverings for the people, those who are living over there. Uh, next to that one is uh, prime. Prime is, means the best location, prime location. Next to that one is descent. Descent means passed from inheritance. What they have received from their ancestors, that you will get over there. Independent people of Kurg and possibly of Greek and Arabic descent. Their ancestors were either Greek people or Arabic people. Alexander's army moved south along with the coast and settled here when written back in practical. 
when Alexander's army returned from South India to back to Germany, at the time few soldiers of Alexander settled here in Kurg. And from that time onwards, their generation, their ancestors are Greek soldiers, Greek cultures. These people married among us, uh, the local and their culture is apparent. Mm -hmm. The martial tradition, marriage and religious rites, which are distinct, distinct, quite different. Distinct from the Hindu mainstreams, mainstreams, the common tradition. How Hinduism follow the mainstreams, main traditions, rites and rituals, especially in marriage function, quite different from that Kurg people observe, Kurg people follow. And that, that gives the real identity of their culture. The theory of Arab origin draws support from the long black coat with an embroidered vast belt worn by the Kodavus. Kodavus means the people, those who are living in Kurg, they are known as either Kurgis or they are known as Kodavus. Uh, and what they are wearing, just like Arab people having a belt over here and rest, that is known as kupia. What is kupia? Kupia means long vest cloth. What the Kurgis, Kodavus wear with a vest belt like Arabic people, that dress is known as kupia. It resembles the kufia worn by the Arab and Kurds. Kurds, those who are re living in Kurd, they are known as Kurds. Kurd people are also there in, in Afghanistan. So that uh, either from Afghan or from Arab, uh, they used to wear this. And uh, their pronunciation is kufia. That kufia is very near to kufia. What they are wearing in their language, in their culture, they pronounce it kufia. And these people are pronouncing this as kufia. Up to this extent, we keep uh, what's there next in this uh, kur that we will come to know little later. Till that time, I'll give you time, one or two seconds to write down whatsoever you want to write from the board. Okay, thank you, thanks a lot. Thank you, thanks a lot for joining us.